Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Jennifer. Um, hello today, how are you? Today I want to make a video on differences in between what it is like living in South, like in the South in America, in the USA where I live, the differences between here and pretty much everywhere else because I've been I've been to the Northeast, I've been to the Southwest, I've been to the West, I've been to the Northwest, I've been to the Far North, um, I've even been to Florida. Everywhere is different from the South. The South, Southern people in general, they are a specific breed of people. They are an interesting culture, and it is a different culture compared to the rest of America. Everywhere um, is so different compared to here, in my opinion. Um, this could be different from your opinion, so just respect that we have differences in opinions. So, um, the first thing I want to start off um, with that I notice. Okay, so let me give you a little backstory. I am Alaskan. I have. I was born and raised in Alaska. I lived there till I was roughly 15, and then I um, got moved to a. Uh, I got put in a, like a uh, treatment center in Utah. So I lived in Utah for a while. Um, and they sent me back to Alaska, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I grew up mostly in Alaska. Um, and then I moved out of Alaska to Southwest Virginia, basically Northeast Tennessee, when I was 18 years old. And I have lived here ever since. Now, since I have lived here, I have been to Nevada, I have been to Colorado, I have been to, um... Washington DC I've been to Florida all those places so um, but I live in Southwest Virginia and I live in a very very small town like I'm talking not even 3,000 people in the town I live in every single person see you see these stereotypes on TV a lot where like southern people or places you go in and even the cat like the person at the gas station knows you and you think that that's just bullshit like you know in in Anchorage where I grew up like the there are so many people in Anchorage alone that the cash the the cashier at the grocery store is not going to recognize you even if you go there all the time they're not going to say anything to you not they're not going to talk to you ask you your name how you're doing none of that they don't enter they don't ask about your life whatsoever now in South, in the South, I swear to gosh, the, they everybody knows me in this town, and I barely talk to anybody. Like it's just through word of mouth. People, you meet one person, and they will swear they'll start talking to you like they know you, but it's because they assume that they know somebody you know, or you're you're related to them in some way because this place is so tiny that. I don't know about how it is all in the all of the south but in where I live right now this is how it is um people will just wave at you the like when I first moved here I seen people waving at me and my husband my ex-husband um all the time and I asked him I said do you know those people why are they waving at you because I thought that was so weird like if you don't know somebody they're not gonna wave at you um in my hometown but here <laughs> in Southwest Virginia and in Tennessee, they'll wave at you. And I, I, I was so confused by this, by this notion of people, I guess, being friendly. Um, but no, seriously, like over the course of a couple of years, everyone in this town knows me. The mailman knows who, me, who I am um, by name, not just by my mail. He knows my name, like when I see him out. Um, you know, people at the grocery store, they know my name. It's so bizarre. It's weird. I've gotten used to it now, but it used to be really weird to me. Um, let's see. Another thing is, they have, and they are big on family. They have huge families, and they are so big on families. It is not anything to see a 40-year-old grandmother here in the South. 60-year-old great-grandmothers, like... It is so crazy. Like, I, my family was not like that. And anyone else's family in Alaska was not like that. You know, people, it was kind of more spread out. And I never knew my great-grandparents at all. Um, but here in the South, people, 
they're so big on keeping their families connected and together and they'll have like reunions once a year. I know that's a common thing for most people and most families, but I didn't grow up around it. So it was a huge culture shock to me when I seen that, when I seen that people were really like family driven, like that was new, a new concept to me. And it actually freaked me out because the day I moved down here was the day that my ex-mother-in-law decided to have a family reunion and it was just a lot. It was a lot happening, a lot going on, and it was a, just so much. Okay, another thing. There are so many churches, and I'm not even shitting you guys. Literally every mile, there's a church. Every single mile. It seems like, you know, there's a church in the town that I live in. It's not even three, four miles long. And there is like seven, eight churches just in the little part of town I live in. Not to mention the churches, the rural churches, like the, the country churches. There are so many churches and they're so, so about God, like in, in a crazy way, like like, I believe in God, but don't get me wrong. I am not bashing religious people, and I'm not bashing, bashing churches. Um, but around here, it's a little different. It's You get more of a cult sense, like a like they're, they're trying to convert you with all their might. When I first moved here, I kid you not, I went to a food bank. They asked me if I believed in God. I said I didn't know. They took me in a room. They put got in a circle with me. And they cried and they prayed and then an hour later after I got home, they a pastor came to my house trying to get me to come to church. It was crazy. I had never like been pursued by a freaking church like that. So viciously, not viciously, that was a little dramatic. I'm sorry. But you know what I mean? It was like, but see the thing is I live in the Bible Belt. If you don't know what the Bible Belt is and you have never heard of it, look it up. Um, it is a very religious, religious section of the United States and I live in it so uh, another thing I noticed about the south when I first moved here the foods they eat are so different they're not bad they're just different okay so I noticed in uh, in Alaska and in northern states they the general population um, I'm not saying every single person this is this is just like a generalization um more people seem to have a taste for like sweet stuff uh people down here in the south they like tangy stuff they like onions they like mustard they like sauerkraut they like but see you have to think um a lot of the people who are from this region are their ancestors were, were scotch irish or english so it kind of makes sense you know they're like used to all those you know, foods like that, uh, but they do, uh, another thing I'd never heard of when I first moved down here, soup beans, soup beans and cornbread, new concept for me, <laughs> I was like, what is a soup bean, how can you make a bean a soup, I just didn't get it, until finally somebody made it for me, and what it is, it's just like pinto beans with some water, and like a piece of fat, like a piece of like a ham hock, like a piece of ham meat or something, you know, just like, and you throw it in a pot and you let it sit that's, and then that's it. And you season it and stuff. But I'm not too big on beans. I, I've had it a few times when I'm starving, I'll eat it. Um, okay. And then another thing is, uh, my boyfriend, he eats this. He eats cornbread and he'll crumple it up and put it in a in a cup of buttermilk and he'll eat it with a spoon. I think that's so disgusting. Like just buttermilk in general. People drink it here just out of the carton. It's disgusting. It's so foul. Um and there's this restaurant here and it's only in the south. It's called uh Pals, P A L S. And it is the building is a big teal, not even a big building. It's like a teal building. It may be as wide as a trailer. Like a literal, like, little trailer. And it's about two... It's it's pretty tall. It's like two stories. Um, but it has, on the front of it, a big dude in a pal's uniform holding a hamburger. Uh, standing on a hot dog. 
Some of them have them. Some of them have the guy. Some of them don't. They're just a hamburger, hot dog, french fries, and a drink on the build. Like, literally, the building is that. Not, like, painted on there. Like, it's it's that. You know, it's like a big, giant hot dog standing up front. It's weird. And it's only in the south. Um, I personally don't like that food. I like the fries, but other than that, that restaurant makes me sick. Um, another thing... Uh, see in Alaska and a lot of other places I've been the liquor stores uh, and the beer and everything beer is not sold in grocery stores in the north where I was from down here the beer is in the grocery stores the wine is in the grocery stores but the liquor is in its supper store and it closes at 6pm and it's closed on Sunday. Like, pretty much everything's closed on Sunday. Except for, like, the gas stations and the, and the, um, the grocery stores. Stuff like that. But, like, pretty much everything closes down early and nothing's open on Sunday. And so, yeah. And their language, the, la the way that they talk is so different. And, like, it took me a long time to get used to how people talk and actually understand them. And I can actually do a, a pretty good southern accent. Um, let's see if I can do one. Like something they'll say is that you can't understand. That I couldn't understand is like, hey, y'all, can y'all go get me that yet over there? Like, can y'all get me that? Like they would not, they, they don't pronounce the T-H. It's like, can y'all get, you know, get over at that, at that. It's like at that, not like that. It's, and then there's like, they'll say, um, Instead of over there, they'll say down yonder. Um, they'll say yuns, how yuns doing, y'all. Or, or they'll say, uh, what's something else? That, they'll call cucumbers cukes, which is gets on my gosh dang nerves. And they'll say, when a woman in this, when a southern woman tells you, oh, bless your heart, that's her way of calling you the a stupid idiot. Okay, so don't, <laughs> I've had it said to me a few times in the beginning, I thought they were actually genuinely being nice. P c come to find out, they're really calling me an idiot. They'll say, oh, what'd you do, honey? And they'll talk like this. They'll say, oh my God, how are you doing? I've got a friend who actually talks like this. And it really gets on my nerves sometimes because you really just want to smack shit out of her. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't help myself, but that was really how one of my friends talks. And, or, they're, southern women are so loud, and I think I've pricked up that trait. But see, I've lived here so long that when I go home to Alaska, people think I have a southern accent. I don't hear it. Sometimes I, I do catch myself saying words that... Uh, do kind of sound like how they talk around here. Like, I say y'all. I say, um, I do, I actually, I can kind of hear it a little bit as I'm listening to myself right now. Uh, but mostly I don't, I don't think I have an accent. It's kind of mixed. Um, but, you know, when you assimilate into a culture and you live somewhere for so long, you kind of adapt to it and it kind of becomes a part of who you are. So, Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to know more differences about the South and it, other places, let me know. Um, I could tell you differences about the North versus the South. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any video ideas that you want to see from me, let me know. I'm kind of having a hard time thinking of things to film because I'm kind of in a rut mentally. Um, but yeah, I love you guys, and thank you for um, continuing to watch my videos. It really means a lot. It is helping me um, keep a steady eye on, um, you know, a positive thing, a positive outlet for myself. And yeah, I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.